Mental health professionals at the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital Yaba joins the rest of the world to mark the World Mental Health Day. The psychiatrists say depression and anxiety are the most common illnesses at the workplace. As such, they are appealing to employers of labor to preserve mental wellness in the workplace for the overall well-being of employees and improve productivity. The environment where you work, if it's hostile or it's friendly, these are things that can constitute stressors. Do you understand? Excessive workload or when you are not properly utilized, both of these ones can generate stress in an individual. If you are working in a very hostile environment where you don't feel loved, where you are suspicious of uh, your co-employees or you feel your uh, employer is a bully, you don't feel safe, you, you wake up in the morning, you are afraid, you don't know what will happen, feeling of uncertainty, all this can constitute stress. The ignorance that drives stigma also leads to wrong action on the part of the generality of the wrong assumptions and wrong actions on the part of everybody. We all grew up with stigma and it's deeply embedded within us. So it's a self-education and re-education re exercise that has to be continuous so that people will know that mental illness is a thousand and one mental illnesses and it's not an us and them thing. It's something that is so common that virtually everybody will have one or more incidents at some point in their lives. We thank God for his infinite mercies. The National Health Insurance Scheme does not cover costs for mental health issues in Nigeria. The managing director says she is saddened that most people who need their services, that most people who need their services cannot afford it. It's already been subsidized, but then that subsidy is so, so, it's, it's okay. The NHIS does not really take care of mental health as, as such. So if it's included, so that everybody that has NHIS can access uh, mental health treatment. Because I'm passionate about my patients, it worries me. Because so many of them still do come that they cannot afford treatment. And I see it every day. So I'm just asking that if there should be a, a, a could be a policy shift to make mental health as free as is possible, mental health treatment as free as is possible. The annual commemoration of mental health is to create awareness on prevention and management and to highlight the rights and privileges of those challenged by mental illness. Vivian Irike, Fitivsi News.